brought you these. I noticed his shirt got messed up when, you know. Where did you get those? They were tens back when he got here. Should be about AJ's size. How's he doing? Better. His fever's down. Thank you for carrying him in. No problem. So, we've got a greenhouse again. And bombs. Mitch's idea. I figured. Violet says we'll start getting this place ready in the morning. Good. They all seem okay with letting you stay. For now, anyway. While we get ready to fight. Yeah, I'm glad. All I've wanted is for them to forgive us. I said they're fine with you being here, at least till the raiders are gone. That doesn't mean they all like you again. Everyone else is okay with us staying. What about you? It's fine. Well, he gets better. And after that? I don't know, Clementine. Clem? Hey, kiddo. How do you feel? Better. Still hurts. I know. Hi, Louis. Hey, little dude. I missed you. Are we friends again? Just get some sleep, okay? Louis? I really missed you. Missed you too. Good night. I'm not mad at him anymore. Are you? He helped carry me. And he was by my bunk when Ruby gave me stuff. Medicine. Mia, yeah. you're still mad. Let's get a look at the shirts Lewis brought you. Then we'll sleep. It's been a long day. Yeah. James was nice, but I don't like sleeping on the ground. Me neither. It's Disco Broccoli and his friend. I wish you could have seen this cartoon. Me too. Hey, this one's pretty cool. Mm, looks like Marlin's jacket. Oh, yeah. But it would still look good on you. How about this one? It looks like Tin's boots. Oh, yeah. I think it's the same character. Cool. Nice. Cool. Hey, it's bedtime. <laughs> You're right. So bossy. Hmm, this one will work. You can put it on when you feel better, okay? Yeah. Time for sleep. I can't sleep with the light. I'll blow it out in a second. Good night. Sleep tight. 
Don't let a walker bite. And if it tries? <sighs> Bang. AJ? Where are you? You were having a nightmare. Same one you used to have all the time. About what happened at the ranch. I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. Hey, what do you have there? Did you have a bad dream too? You've been having them a lot lately. I feel safer like this, not sleeping. I want to stay up forever. I probably could. Like 18 days, if I tried hard. You should go back to sleep if you're tired. You've been doing lots of stuff. Ah. Here, let me help you back to bed. No. You don't have to keep checking on me. You always say, be tough. So I am. 
You say, be strong, and I will. All the time. You're the toughest boy I know. Probably the toughest boy in the whole world. I'm not as tough as you. Well, no one's as tough as me. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to do all the hard work. Showing them I'm good and smart. Smarter than them. I'm going to help you more, so you don't have to do everything. Where are you going? On patrol. Patrol? For danger. Bad people. Monsters. Whatever you have nightmares about. Okay. Well, gonna go. Well, Clementine, you sure did raise a weird kid. Hmm, no kidding, Clementine. Maybe because you're the sort of person who talks to herself when she's alone. <sighs> you ready to work today, kiddo? I know you were up late. Yeah. I went around the school eight times last night on patrol. Find anything? No danger. I just found a turtle that I thought we could keep. But it was dead and had bugs inside, so I thought, never mind. It's my turn to be lookout. I have other stuff I need to do. What stuff? Nothing. It's just... it's important. God damn it, Lewis. Take this seriously for once in your life. I've been taking this seriously for fucking days. Almost two weeks. So has everyone. Get over yourself. Hey. I thought Lily and Abel would show up days ago. I wonder why they're holding off. Don't know. All I wanted was more time to prepare, but now this waiting sucks and everyone's on edge. Need my help? Yeah, actually. Could you check on everyone and make sure they're doing shit right? Sure, I'm on it. Thanks, Clem. I should go board up the back hallway, since Lewis isn't gonna do it. Pretty clear message. Wouldn't want to pledge to that. Hey, what are you doing? Mm, test. Gotta see if the bomb will go off. This little thing won't kill anybody. Just gotta see if it'll light. Yeah, it better. Our whole plan rests on that little thing. If they get in, I'll need you to set the bomb off while I distract them. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, something like that. I, I read that on one of those stupid inspirational posters. <laughs> School used to have them everywhere. As soon as things went to shit, I tore them all down. Stupid shit. Uh, could you? Uh, my hands all fucked up from messing with it all day. Stand back. Fucking shit. If it doesn't work. Fucking shit! I'm sure you'll get it. Keep trying. It's not like I got all the time in the world to play scientist and figure this shit out. I'll figure it out. I just need more time. Alone time to think. I get it. I'll leave you alone. Thanks, though, for helping. Nothing left we can use. Wonder if they ever tried to rebuild it after it burned down.
shit. What's going on? In a few weeks, or days, or hours, the raiders will be here. Burn down our place and steal or kill us. And then it won't matter how much I sucked at this. The raiders aren't gonna burn anything or steal anybody. We'll stop it. You sound like Marlin. I mean, not about fighting, but when he was trying to cheer us all up. For years, I sat around making stupid jokes, playing stupid games, while my best friend was left with all the responsibility, all the tough calls, all the sleepless nights, and eventually, a bullet in the head. And I didn't do a damn thing about it. And then when you tried to tell us what he was really like, and AJ shot him, I blamed you, both of you. If I could take it back, I would. I knew that the day you got back. I, I still do. AJ killed him. I didn't stop it. He was my best friend, almost like my brother, but the things he did, they were fucked up. I'll never be glad he died. But I understand why AJ thought it was the right thing to do. Here, you take it. Are you sure? I mean, it's Marlin's. Yeah, it was. And he used it to defend the school before... Before he stopped. Go ahead. Try it. In that direction, please. And just so you know, I'm totally laughing out loud when you miss. Damn. Remind me to never piss you off while I'm standing at a moderate distance with a big red circle painted on my chest. You want to come back and practice more? Just let me know. Okay? Sounds good. And Clem? Thank you. For all of it. coming over those. Do you think Sophie and Minnie might be with them when they get here? I don't know. Maybe. I'm doing watch, Clem, for danger. Like patrol? No, Clem. Lookout's totally different than patrol. How so? You don't walk. Oh, right. Back hallway's secure. How is everyone? Okay, or, you know, a total fucking mess. Shit. You don't have to say it, do you? There are a bunch of kids with sticks trying to fight a bunch of adults with guns. Fuck. That's... Ah, shit. Because you're boring and your idea is stupid! Oh. 
Uh, I'm being stupid? You're the one who can't think straight. If you could hear yourself- Guys, what the fuck? Violet told us to work on the traps together, but a sim won't listen to anything I say! That uh, doesn't mean you have to scream at each other. Stay out of this. I have an idea for duffel bags filled with bricks. We drop them on the raiders, if they get to the admin building. Willie here wants to use a giant, idiotic swinging log to take out one raider at most. It's completely stupid. You're stupid. You're being childish. I am not. I'm trying to help. So help and stop arguing. Asim is right. We should use his brick trap. It sounds more practical. Mine's practical, too. No, it isn't. It's exactly the kind of thing a child would think of, especially a child who has no idea what he's up against. <laughs> what the shit? Dude, you okay? Yeah, fine. Shit! Christ. We'll all kill each other before the raiders even get a fucking chance. Right, what we need is something to break the tension. Hey, buddy, how's it hanging? Dude, fuck off. Sulking in the corner isn't gonna help us fight off the raiders. Or turn that frown upside down. You get more annoying every day. Regardless, I've come up with a plan to make everybody feel better. And that plan is a game. Come on, we gotta play. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, we haven't played a game in weeks since that night with Marlin. I mean, if you wanna go ask Ruby to come play, I don't mind waiting. Shut up, dude! I swear to God. You've got a crush on Ruby? What are we playing? Truth or Dare. You don't use cards in Truth or Dare. You do in this version. Everyone draws. Highest card gets to ask, Lois card has to answer. <laughs> this should be good. Let's see. Truth. Mary, fuck, kill. Bye. Fine. Mary, flip, kill. Ruby, a sim, or James, that guy who saved you. <sighs> oh my god. You gotta answer. Them's the rules. Let's see. I would marry... James. He sounds mysterious. Funny. You pronounce horrifying differently than I do. Didn't you say he wore skin? Like, human skin? Whatever makes you happy, Clem. I would, um, flip. Flip, 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 flip. Flip, flip, flip. flip. Sim. Oh, wow. That... Wow. Now, that's awkward. I don't think you're his type. He's into redheads. Dude, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> so that means you're killing... This is amazing. Ruby! Wow, poor Ruby. Poor, kind-hearted Ruby. A Sim would happily marry you. Damn it, Lewis. This is great. We're laughing, we're bonding. It's a nice break from thinking about homicidal assholes sneaking into our homes to kidnap us. Not if you bring it up. On to round two. I win. And poor Sim loses. Definitely a dare. Uh, okay. Do your worst. You have to ask Ruby for a kiss. Seriously? The most legitimate of dares. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> well, 
I think we all learned something about our good friend Asim today. Mainly that he has no romantic charm whatsoever. Shut up. Look sharp, y'all. It's time for round three. I got it. We've been pretty hard on poor Asim here, teasing him about sweet Ruby. Seems only fair we mercilessly tease someone else about unrequited love. So, Clem. Anyone here you like-like? Seriously? Like-like? What are you, six? Seriously? Putting me on the spot isn't cool. You did it to a sim. It's okay, Clem. You don't have to answer. And blam! That's how a game dies. A sim! You've got the high card. And the loser is... Tennessee. What's something you've never told anyone because you were afraid they'd make fun of you? You got this. I, um... I think... I think walkers won't always be around. They'll go away someday. Cause the world goes in cycles, right? Ice Age, Stone Age, um... Some other ages. So it's like that. This age will end. And another one will start. An age without walkers. Like it used to be. It'll be better. Why is everyone looking at me like that? Did I ruin the game? That's... really beautiful. I never thought of it that way. What's wrong, AJ? I... Uh, I just don't know what it's like. All of you do, but I don't. I don't remember a time before monsters. You know what, little dude? It's okay that you don't. Believe me, the world before this one was pretty shitty. And that feels like a good place to call it. We should finish up our work anyway. It's getting dark. You're on lookout? Yep. Clementine's got it after me. Can I come? Of course you can, little guy. Hey. Hey. You maybe want to help me with the brick trap? Yeah, I got some ideas. Cool. I'm sure they'll help. Sorry I punched you. It's okay. It's a pretty good punch. I'm headed to the bell tower. I want to check out our defenses on the back wall before bed. Do you need help? Sure, if you want. You could always help me instead. I'm on piano duty. What? I gotta get in some practice before one of you decides to chop it into firewood. I've got a project I wanna try, but I need a second person. So, we're checking the walls? Yep, from up there. That's the best view. You ready for a climb? Looks a little dangerous. <laughs> What's more dangerous than walkers? Or that death trap you called a car? Okay, fair. Come on, you're not chicken, right? <laughs> no. Now I'm thinking about chicken nuggets. Do you remember those? Not really. I do. I always got them on Sundays. There was no time for Grandma to cook between church and Bible studies, so fast food. Damn, I 
give an eyeball for a chicken nugget right now. Hardwire, traps, weapons, it's everything we planned. You made it happen. We couldn't have done it without you. You've got lookout duty tonight, right? Yep, me and AJ. Do you have time to hang out first? Sure. Beautiful. Sometimes I need the quiet just to get away for a while. Clem, yeah? I know you came back for medicine, for AJ, but after that you could have just left. Avoided all the bullshit with the raiders. Why didn't you? Sorry, I know that puts you on the spot. You don't have to answer. We've all got our reasons. Why would I go anywhere else if you're here? I'm glad. Do you know any constellations? Nope. You? I learned some in school, but can't remember them. Let's make some up. Come over here. You can sit down at that volunteer desk. If I remember right, everyone's born under a special sign, right? It determines your personality. That's astrology, not astronomy. Whatever, let's just make up our own. Rules, signs, what it says about you. It's not like anyone remembers the old way. Okay, let's do it. There! See? It's a fish. Right. Now it needs a personality. Bright, pretty, good with other people, always moving, tons of energy. Sounds like anyone we know. The energy one is easy. Good with people, not so much. Yeah, it sounds like you. <laughs> Weren't you listening? I said good with other people. Well, maybe not that part. I'll try to take the rest as a compliment. I spy with my eye a knife. See it? Mm, right there. Right above your head. Yeah, they're all above my head. This one's easy. Smart, clean, vicious, dependable. Someone you want with you in a fight. Doesn't take crap from anyone. Gets shit done. That's mine. Definitely. Yeah, that's a good one for you. Wish everyone would have seen all that sooner. Okay, one more time. I found a bird. Like a real bird? No, 
a starbird. Right there. A bird is free. It could go anywhere it wanted to. Up and up and up and never come back. Go south, east, west, doesn't matter. You could fly straight into a sunset. It's all of us. Everyone here wishes they could fly away from all of this. Maybe we'll learn to fly together someday. Sorry, I didn't mean to just talk so much. It's just, I've watched people leave before. Family, friends, they never come back. But you did, and now I can't imagine what it would be like if you weren't here. Um... Shit. That sounds so much dumber when I say it out loud. Uh, you know what I mean. I think, I mean, I hope we're more than friends. And I want. Holy shit. That's romantic. I mean, holy shit. Bye! Clam! You out here? Shit sticks. Probably time for your lookout shift. Ready? Yeah. The Raiders. That guy. He's gonna be with him. Abel. Yeah. Your bad dreams. They're all about him, aren't they? Yeah. Can I swear yet? I think it's time I can. If you do. Fuck it. Really? Go for it, kiddo. Everyone else swears, you might as well, too. I fucking really hate that fucking dickhead shit fuck. Whoa, that's a little much, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. Try thinking about something else. Count the monsters you see. Same number as before. Three, four... AJ, it's okay if Abel frightens you. You know how to control that. There's ten monsters out there. And he doesn't frighten me. But when he comes here, I call dibs. I'm the one that kills him. Okay? AJ, I don't like the way you're talking. Killing is never easy or fun or to be treated so casually. I promise to only be serious about it from now on. There's 12 of them now. 
But what if we played rock, paper, scissors? If I win, you change your mind, and I get dibs on Abel. I can take him, Clem. Please. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Really? Best two out of three, sucker. And no take backs. No take backs. Sucker. Get ready. One. Two. Scissors. Crush the scissors. I know, I know. Again. One. Two. Scissors. Tied. Go again. Again. One. Two. Too slow. Again. One. Two. Scissors. Crush the scissors. I know, I know. <laughs> Is that your victory dance? Uh, yes! Okay, you win. You get the first shot at Abel. Yes! But... We don't know what's gonna happen, so... I won't do anything stupid, Clem, I promise. I'll be careful when I kill him. You sound so creepy sometimes. Yeah, but I won. Clem, I see something. Not a walker? Here, you look too. Not a walker. Good job, AJ. Come on, we have to tell the others. <laughs> they finally show up? Yeah. Stay safe, okay? We're ready. They've got at least four more people, all carrying guns and carts, probably to carry people away. Oh, no. Assholes. I can't believe they're really here. If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. That should give Willie and Mitch time to set up the bomb. I'll set it under those carts. It'll work. I promise. If they manage to get in, we fall back. To the admin building. Exactly. Right into our traps. They're in for a rude fucking surprise. Those duffel bags will break bones. Easy. So, uh, any final words of wisdom? You've faced them in one, after all. Well, sort of. Lewis, shut it. No matter what happens, we have to ah, oh, God, shit, shit, fuck, 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 shit, fuck! Shit! Shit! Hide! Now! Omar! I got him! AJ, hide! <sighs> 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 I'll be all right. You don't have much time. Go! Make noise. The fuck is all this? Focus. They're just scarecrows. 
guess they took us seriously. Spread out. Get the chance. Where's our new recruits? They're not yours. Search the yard. If Clementine moves, shoot her. We'll find them, Clementine, and then we'll take them. And you. And- I don't think you want to kill me. Just like you didn't want to in the woods. Shut up! You can't fucking do it, can you? You've changed. I grew up. I can see that. God, you are just like him. Lee would have been heartbroken knowing he taught you all the wrong things. That the sweet little girl he protected turned out like this. Don't, don't ever say his name. I knew Lee better than ever. Get out. If you won't help me find the others, I'll find someone who will. We've recruited from this school before. Minnie wanted to come along tonight to tell you how well she's adjusted to her life, how happy she is. She said she had a girlfriend back here. Friends she missed, one guy who could always make her laugh no matter what. And her little brother, she missed him the most. Shit. Where are they? Let me take you to them. I can't. I just want them back. Please. You'll be happier where they are. Don't listen to her, Ten. You know she's lying. She stole your sisters. She took them away from you. From their home. Cooperate. 
Should be easy. You won't kill me. I know you won't. Why? We were like family once. He won't hurt family.
sorry for trusting her. They took them. Sim and Omar and... God damn it, Lewis! I know. We're going after them. If we knew where to look, I'd smash down their walls myself. But we don't. Well, we've got someone who does. Yeah. 